Okay, hello everyone. This is a, your first tutorial. I want to kind of get you can, um, confident in using Fusion 360 this week. So here's your homework. Um, first thing you're going to do is this is you know this is what you're going to see when you first open Fusion after you've installed it. <clears throat> so what I want you to do is first s make sure your um, units are set to inches instead of millimeters. I think the d default is millimeters. So you're going to go up to here, um, this uh, icon here. It's going to have your name when you hover over it. And uh, you're going to go to preferences. And then this is going to pop up. You're going to come all the way down here to design default units design. And you're going to, it'll probably already be set to millimeters. You're going to do the drop down and set it to inches. And then you're going to hit OK, and then you're working in inches. So that is the most important thing you do right up front. <clears throat> so this week um, in class, you were familiar with creating a sketch. Now, if you don't see Create Sketch up here in the top left, you just can do the drop down menu, and you can find it here. So make sure you're under the Design Workspace, under the Solid tab, and then you're going to create a sketch. So this week. Uh, what I want you to do for your homework is to create a phone holder, something that will hold your phone up on the desk. So if you're trying to watch a, a video or something hands-free, you can um, just sit it in this holder and then it can um, hold your phone up. So uh, yeah, so follow along and then once we finish the basic one, you guys can um, add to it or, um, or you know, make it uh, make the design your own uh, however you want. But uh, follow along this way and then uh, here we go. So you're going to create a sketch and in class we created a sketch on the bottom plane but right this time I want you to create a sketch on this right plane here. So um, we're going to select that plane and that turns it to being so now we're facing the front view. And the first thing I want you to do is just create a two-point rectangle that and you're going you're gonna to click once in this center, so that's going to be the center of the plane, and then we're going to drag out. Now, don't, well, yeah, you're not going to click and drag, you're just going to move the mouse. So you've already clicked once here, and then you go up here, and let's make the box, um, if, if we type in this first dimension, I want you to type in, um, let's say, 2.5, so that's 2.5 inches tall, and then you hit the tab button, and that takes you over to this other air, um, highlighted area. Right now it says 3.103. Let's change that to 2.5 inches. And we hit enter. And so now we have a, a square that's 2.5 by 2.5. Um, now, um, I'm gonna throw a new thing at you. I want you to uh, so select um, all of these lines. So if you hold down shift, you can select all the lines or you can click and drag and select everything. And over here under the sketch palette, I want you to set that to construction lines. So if you do make those construction lines, then um, they're not actually part of your design. They're just a, basically a guideline. So as you can see, they're now dotted. So those are construction lines that make it um, just give you uh, an area to work with. So I'm basically saying I, I want to make something that's going to stick into those dimensions. Um, so yeah, so if I hit finish sketch, you can see I can't select those anything in those lines, right? I can't extrude from that. Now I'm going to blow your mind here again in that um, Fusion 360 um, allows you to basically time travel. So now we can go back in time. We can come down here, and right down here is your time travel, basically your, your timeline. So we're going to click on our sketch down here, and we're going to edit that sketch. And now we're going to create um, the outline of our phone holder. And so this is where you can get creative. Um, but basically, we're going to create a design here, and I want to stay inside these lines. But basically, I'm gonna. We we know we want the phone to be able to lean back. So um, let's give it a little bit of a lean here, and then we need a little platform for it to sit on, and then we need a lip so it doesn't f slide out the front. And um, 
So as you're creating these lines, it's going to give you this check mark. You can click the check mark and that just finishes and then you can keep going. So, um, so now I have a line there. And let's say I want to go give it a nice kind of fun, uh, or I'm going to give it a, not a fun, but a uh, useful backward slope so that that keeps it from leaning backwards. And then let's say I want to make it, I'm going to come here and I'm going to come up uh, from this line. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to come over, come down and then hit the ground. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to finish my sketch. So that's the, that's what I want my phone holder to look like. Yours can look however you want, but just make sure that it's leaning backwards and it's got this lip and then this back, um, you might want to have a little slope on this back so that the weight is kind of, it's got that triangle keeping the weight, um, from falling backwards. All right. I'm going to finish sketch now. I'm going to try to extrude, but I can't extrude because I don't have a completed outline. I've got these lines here, but this line here is missing and this line here is missing. So I'm going to go back in time. I'm going to edit this and I'm going to add those missing lines here. So I'm going to go like that and I'm going to go like this and connect this down here. And now it turns blue, right? All right. So. Now I have a outline I can extrude. So I'm going to hit E for extrude, or I'm going to come up here and you can find extrude right here. And then I'm going to grab this line and I'm going to drag it out. And let's drag it out to be two inches. And so you can hit 2.0 in the, there you press enter. And now you have your phone holder. It's that simple, guys. Um, and let's say I'm not super happy with how chunky this is right here. Well, we can just go back in time. We can edit our sketch. And I can say, you know what? I think I want to have a little bit more um, flourish here. And maybe I'll do like a, a little design here and come down here. And if you want to delete a line, you just go up to your scissors and you say, I don't want this line here. So I've got that like that. So now I finish sketch and the change has been made. I don't know why you'd want it to do that, but if that's the design you want, you can. Some people, I mean, like in junior high, they created a hole in the bottom here for uh, so they could run a charger cable. Um, so they could charge and uh, hold your phone up if you're watching things vertically. Um, yeah, so then if let's say I want to go back and make a, a few more changes. Um, I think I want to make it a little bit more sleek. So I'm going to come up here and this fillet, I'm going to fillet this edge here and this edge here and give it a little bit more of a round uh, feeling there. And I hit OK. So now we got a little round top there. You can also fillet it after it's been extruded. So I can come up to this fillet here and I can say, I want this corner to be filleted and I'm going to go about like that. Now, right here, I wouldn't fillet this too much because that is what's keeping your phone from falling out. So if you fillet it and it, it's too round, it might, um, it might slip out. So yeah, so that's, uh, that's the basic phone holder. Feel free to um, add to it, make, get, make it your own, make the design your own. But uh, when you're done, you're going to hit save. So you're going to come up here to this disk up here. You're going to hit save and we're going to call it um, uh, J Dawes. So my name and then phone holder. So use your name, obviously, and phone holder. And then do you can save it to the admin project. That's fine. And then hit save. And then for your, you know, to, to send it to me, um, you're going to come up to this up here where it says file and you're going to do export and you're going to do, you're going to keep the name here. It's going to add a V1. That's fine. And then you're going to make sure it's an Autodesk Fusion archive files, the F3D and, um, wherever you want to save it to, wherever, you know, you can go find it, whether your desktop or your downloads folder, and you're going to hit export 
and then you're going to go to your downloads and there is the file and you're going to upload this file to Google Classroom. It's that simple. But so to just recap, we have gone over um, these, uh, these lines here that are um, construction lines to just kind of give you a, a basic uh, area to work with. Um, they're also good for like doing finding the center. If you if you want to find the center of something, you do you know two lines from the corners that are construction lines, and then their intersection is going to be the center. Um, it's also we also went over making sure you have a completed sketch. So it's if it turns blue, that means you've completed it. If it's not blue, then you may have missed it. Um, you have uh, let's uh, let me show you. So if you create say you're creating a box and you, there's a real possibility you could have two lines that aren't actually meeting. So then when you connect them, then they turn blue, then you can extrude it. So I'm gonna undo that. Remember Command Z or Control Z on a PC will um, undo. I'm gonna finish my sketch. And then we also went over extrude and we went over uh, fillet and you can fill it a sketch or you can fill it an already created body. And uh, we, we have this timeline, so you can actually drag back and you can go back in time. So now all that exists, in, because I'm back in time down here, is the sketch and then we have the extruded and then we have the fillet. So it's a good way to uh, kind of go back in time, make adjustments. Um, and then the last thing I want to show you is over here. Here's how you can kind of see. So if your sketch goes away, this is kind of where you're seeing everything. So you can turn off your body. You can turn off the sketch. But yeah, you just do your uh, arrow drop down here. So that's super helpful. Um, yeah. Remember, you hold down shift and you use your scroll wheel. Or on a Mac, you can do two fingers to rotate around this or you can do two fingers on a Mac and um, or hold down or hold down the scroll wheel to um, navigate like this and you can pinch to zoom or you can use your scroll wheel to zoom depending on what you're using it for your mouse. Yeah, simple project. Send this to me. Um, I, I, I can print these out for you. Um, if you send them to me like by Tuesday, I'll print them out and have them for you in class on Thursday or on Friday. So. There you go. First tutorial is the phone holder, and uh, I hope you learned a lot. And uh, feel free to reach out to me if you get stuck or have questions. But uh, I think you have everything you need to know to get this done. Remember, you can create sketches on any plane. So if I want to sketch on the back and just create a hole in it for whatever reason, I can create a sketch and I can cut that hole out. And now we have a hole there. Um, oh yeah, let me show you one more thing. For um, extruding, you have three different ways you can do it. You can create a new body. So say I want to extrude and just create a new body. And so now that there is a completely new body here. The other thing, I'm going to go back in time. The other thing you can do is I'm going to join. And so now when I hit OK, there is only one body here. And this thing is joined to it. And the other thing you can do is you can cut. And you can go, um, oh, let me undo that. So I'm going to go back to sketch and I'm going to extrude and I can cut. So that's cutting a hole. So, and depending on how far you go, I can cut a hole all the way through the thing. So you might want to do something like that. Who knows? Um, but yeah, feel free to get creative. Um, and then I guess I'll show you one last thing. You can actually do the intersection. <laughs> and so that leaves you with, that so that's where you can start to get really creative with like okay i need i'm going to create these two bodies but i only want the intersection that's left so anyway getting a little ahead of myself but i just wanted you to know kind of the different things that you can do with um, extrude um, and sketches i mean you can get pretty elaborate with uh, with extrude and sketches so anyway i will see you in class next week